my PU2 aspirants. So with just seven days left for our final PU2 exams, many students have one question in their comment section that I found was, do we have to read NCRT at this point of time? So yes, in this video, I'm going to answer to your this question that whether you should read NCRT or not. If yes, which chapters, which subject NCRT you should focus on and how can you read NCRT in a very quick, faster and smarter way, all the tips I'll be telling you. So please watch this detailed video regarding should we study NCRT or not at this point of time. So first of all, let me discuss what all things we are going to talk about in today's video. So I'll be telling you first the answer as I told you, should we read NCRT or not, then why you should be reading NCRT, then what? should be read in NCRT, which topics you should be reading, which subjects you should be reading, then this is the most important part. How can you read NCRT smartly and efficiently? Next, what mistakes you should avoid and some tips for the last seven days so that your preparation is effective and better for your PU2 examination. Okay. So now the question is, should we read NCRT? The definite answer for this is yes. Okay, we have to read NCRT. But yes, I know after read, listening to this, many of you might have got scared that you do not have time to study NCRT now. But I have a condition to that, but not for all subjects and chapters. Okay, I'll be telling you certain chapters and uh, certain things that you should be doing for NCRT. So yes, it is a yes, but it comes with this condition. Okay, not for all chapters and subjects. So why we should be reading NCRT? The most important thing is to tackle MCQs. You know MCQs, the long questions are very predictable. Okay, the theory questions, five marker, three marker, we have done last previous year questions and so many sample papers, model papers we have solved. So we can guess what type of questions will be asked. But in MCQs, it is something which can be asked from any corner of the chapter. So that is why we have to focus on NCRT. Next. Direct statements and examples are asked in the exam. Right, direct NCRT based questions, uh, in text examples, so everything is asked directly sometimes. So, for that also. And it helps in concept clarity. Okay, so to understand the concept so that you can write your own answers, you have to read NCRT. And one more important thing here is to frame your answers. Certain theory questions are there, which how to write you can understand if you have read the, ans uh, read the NCRT book. Right. Okay. Now coming to which are the things that what should be must read in NCRT. So first of all, in maths, you do not have to read NCRT at all. You what you can do is to you can just solve the questions, examples, okay, examples and exercises. Okay, that is what you will be definitely doing for maths. So the same thing you have to do. Similarly, in physics also, it is not required to uh, read NCRT. But as per your Swamik sir, he has told that one chapter that you can read in this NCRT is your semiconductor chapter. Okay, because it is a bit of theoretical chapter. Some of the questions can be asked from here. You should be knowing how to frame the answers, how to write the answers. So that is why this one chapter you can read from physics if you want to like uh, tackle the questions from this chapter. But again, if you have watched our Brahmastra series, our PU2 series, whatever is going, if you have watched that completely, then also you can skip this. Now coming to my subject that is chemistry. Physical chemistry, definitely you can ignore uh, NCRT. There's no, requ not required at all. But yes, for organic and inorganic, you have to read it, okay? But yes, I will also be telling you the trick how you can study this easily. Okay, and in biology, as per your Jasmine ma'am, she has told you that you have to study all the chapters, you cannot skip anything because yes, biology is completely theoretical, so you should be knowing what all points should be written, how the answer has to be presented, what comes after what, so for knowing all these things, you should read NCRT, okay. Now coming to chemistry, organic chemistry, as I told you, chapters, you don't have to read the complete chapter, what you have to focus? You have to focus on the introduction part, the application part, okay? Inside whatever reactions are there that we generally study while the basic chapter when you study, for example, haloalkins and haloarenes. You know all the methods of preparation of reactions, the uh, chemical properties, these all reactions you know. What we miss is the introduction part. There some applications will be given, like for example, carbo carboxylic acid is used in your nylon 6-6. This is used in the 
application part it is written right so those things you have to focus so in organic chemistry what all things you will be studying introduction and application and in inorganic chemistry for coordination compounds you just have to focus on application part again okay and yes d and f block you have to read the full chapter okay d and f block one chapter is there in which you have to study the full chapter from the first word to the last word clear okay now we'll discuss how can we study ncrt smartly okay and within this less seven uh, last seven days how can we complete ncrt effectively you don't have to go word by word okay that is definitely not required so first of all you can read the summary after every chapter there is a summary given so you can just go through that so that you have an idea of what all important things are present in this particular chapter after that you have to turn the pages of the chapter and you have to focus on the highlighted terms definitions the formulas and the one liner facts okay like for example henry's law is given it will be given in bold letter okay in biology suppose you are reading uh, menstrual cycle some the ovule the periods the phases have been given in bold letters right i have shown you in my last video as well so these all important highlighted points you have to focus on clear after that you have to read whether you read the complete chapter or not you must solve the examples in text questions and examples these are very very important okay after that in physics and in physical chemistry like in physical chemistry what all chapters we have solutions kinetics and electrochemistry you have to focus on the formulae diagrams and graph okay just read you don't have to read anything just read the suppose you are reading solutions chapter just turn the pages what all graphs are given what all formulas are given just make a note of it that is more than enough i can tell you okay next coming to focus on ncrt examples this is very very important like for example if you have reading kinetics first order reaction what are the examples of first order reaction you are studying ideal and non ideal solutions what are the examples of these solutions so examples are very very important from ncrt from their direct questions have been asked next we have uh, revise the tables diagrams and flow chart so in biology also you should focus on the diagram so if you understand the diagrams the concepts are also easily understood so focus on the diagrams leveling of the diagrams flow chart if any chapter is having any flow chart and tables okay so these are the things that you should focus in ncrt clear next we'll move towards something which our channel can help you is our decode ncrt series so if you remember few days ago we have started our decode ncrt series in which we have taken all the chapters and we have told you what all things are important in this particular chapter so each chapter is like hardly 30 to 40 minutes you can watch it in 2x just you mark that important things and study that much and go for your exam so you can instead of reading the whole chapter we have already given you what all things you have to focus on what questions will be asked from this paragraph paragraph by paragraph wise it is given so that will be really really helpful so just go to our channel search decode ncrt you can find this playlist okay in this playlist all the chapters have been decoded where we have given you the important parts okay of the chapter so this will be definitely a quick way to complete the whole chapter okay you do not have to waste your time in irrelevant topics directly you can go to the part from where exam based questions can be asked okay after this yes so now what all things we should be avoiding while reading our ncrt book very very important reading without understanding simply reading and if we are not understanding the concept there is no point that is simple waste of time so if you are not understanding the concept first you can watch our uh, our uh, concept videos or any other youtube video or any other you can talk to your friend teacher understand the concept then go for reading the book okay next ignoring in text and back questions so in text questions are very very important solved examples are very very important so please solve those questions at any cost okay do not miss them skipping diagrams graphs and tables as i told you diagrams if you understand the concept you will, will be very clear so tables diagrams formulas these all things you should not ignore after that studying new reference book at the last moment so remember how much ever uh, you study at this point of time okay so 
it is very important to use your time effectively if you are using your time in studying some reference book from where the no questions will be asked so that is something which you are wasting your time so make sure that you invest all your time for ncrt pyqs and test mock test these three things only should be referred for each of the subject okay so do not go for any other reference book at this point of time Okay, now coming to the final tips for success because we are just left with seven days students and these seven days are very, very critical, very important. Make sure that you should follow these tips that I am telling you. First is you have to stay consistent and avoid panic. Whether you have studied everything or you haven't started anything, please do not panic. Okay, if you panic, there is no use of anything. You have to think what can be done for the next seven days. What, how can you use the next seven days in the best possible way? That is what you have to do. Okay, so you have to stay consistent. So at least you have to try to study eight to ten hours daily from today. If you haven't started yet, then. Stick to NCRT, no extra study material. As I told you, NCRT should be your first reference. After that, you can have one previous year question book. My ref, uh, uh, suggestion is you, you can use Jivit book. I have personally seen this book. It is good. You can refer to other books as well. Okay. After that, you can just refer to model papers or any test series if you have taken. Okay. After that, you have to revise smartly. So, revise smartly is not just looking at the notes that you have made. You have to focus on active recall and you should be practicing questions. Last point that is very important. Believe in yourself. These seven days are very, very important. First, believe that you can do it. Then only the actual thing will happen. So, yes, students, that's all in this video. So, I hope you would have found your answer that whether you should read NCRT or not. So give me if you have any doubt in this particular question, put down in the comment section, I will definitely address to it. So thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe the channel and all the very best for your preparation.